Hello everyone, in today's video I will show you how to work with audio tracks in Cubase, so let's get started. So here we are back in our Cubase project we set up in the previous videos and if you want to create a new audio track you just have to right click in this area on the left and then the first option already is add audio track. So now we can set up our new audio track. So we can select an audio input in case you want to record something. But this is something I will be explaining in more detail later in this video. Uh, you can also choose if you want to create a mono, stereo or surround track. And you can select to which bus it should be routed. Uh, the whole routing to buses or group tracks I will also be explaining in more detail in a future video. For now let's just set it to stereo out which is the main output of the DAW. We can also name our audio track in here which is fine if you are just creating one track. If you want to create multiple tracks just type in the number of tracks you want to have and then click on add track and then you can just name them afterwards. So now you can basically just drop any sort of audio material onto them. I will just quickly show this with a drum loop. Just drag and drop it in here and now you are ready to work with it. Now let's talk about recording stuff in Cubase. So first we go to Studio and click on Audio Connections or you can just press F4 if you want. And then make sure that the Inputs tab is selected because now we have to create a new input bus. So we click on Add Bus and make sure that it is set to Mono if you have a Mono microphone, set it to Stereo if you have a Stereo microphone. Uh, and then we name the bus, I will just call it Mic for Microphone. And then we have to select the microphone input of our audio interface. So in my case I go to Analog 9 because this is the first microphone input of my interface where my microphone is connected to and then we can close this window. So now we create a new audio track and Cubase will automatically set it to our input bus. So it's automatically set to mic. Uh, if this isn't the case, you can just search for your input bus in here and select it, which also means you don't have to create a new input bus for every audio track you make. So you can just uh, use this one and connect all the tracks you want to record something on to this one bus you made. Then we click on add track click on record enable and then just press the record button in Cubase and now this audio track will record everything you speak or play into your microphone and that's how you record something in Cubase. I hope this video was helpful to you and if you liked it please consider giving it a thumbs up and of course subscribe to the channel and if you have any other questions about Cubase or if you have any topics you would like to see more videos about in the future please let me know down below in the comments and I will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye!